Hi everyone, I'm Rich Tola. Welcome to another 5 minutes of fat burning workout number 21. We're going to work our core and abs and some thighs today. Let's get started. So let's go come back. Remember those earlier workouts we did the side to sides? So let's go feet hip distance apart. You're going to bend your knees slightly. You're going to scoop your sacrum. Imagine your back flat against the wall. And then remember this side to side. We're not in our shoulders. All we're doing is we're crunching. We're slowly crunching side to side. I like to take my hands or your fingers and just sort of graze, graze your legs as you're sliding down. You're not going too far and you're not dropping into this. All you're doing is a nice side to side. Imagine that windshield wiper, that windshield wiper that's going back and forth against the wall behind you. Okay, you want to pull through the core. Imagine there's a string attached to your belly button and someone's pulling you from the rear. Stay with your breath. Don't hold your breath, right? Breathe. Try to Try to have a meditative breath there, so keep going. All we're gonna do is side to sides. Again, you can do this at any time during the day. You wanna take a break from your desk, right? Get up, do some side to sides, but think about scooping the sacrum, dropping into it. Let's go a little deeper, meaning bend your knees a little more. Now, I like to lift my toes. Good, side to sides, relax your shoulders. Again, you're only going about six inches into this pose. It's not a heavy drop, right? It's nice and easy. Good, let's do 10 more, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Slowly come up. I'm going to turn this to the side for a better angle. We're going to have our feet hip distance apart. Let's work on some thighs. Now, you want to think about scooping your sacrum, sort of rounding that low part of the back as we sink a little deeper into this pose. Now, we're going to take our heart forward and we're going to fold about halfway. So you can have your hands on your thighs here to kind of push you out. Now get extension through the crown. Now try to hollow through the core. Now from here you're going to release your hands. Now you can stay in this position or you can go deeper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the hands, palms are going to face up here and we're going to rotate and palms are going to face up here. So you're trying to bring your arms to a parallel plane to the ground. Again, engaging your leg. Got to really engage your legs here. So we're gonna do right here, pick a point of focus about three feet ahead. Good, and then let's do some of these here. Let's do 10, we're gonna go slow and we're gonna hold up at the top here and then hold here and engage your arms. Ready, that's one. That's two. That's three. If you have to take a break, you can straighten into your legs a little more. That's four. Let's do it. That's five. Sink a little deeper, maybe flattening the torso a little bit. That's six. Say I change my position a little bit. If you do, you want to look down. That's seven. Ready? That's eight. Let's do that. Feel the arms engage. That's nine. Let's do one more. And that's ten. From here, hands back to your knees. We're going to straighten in a little bit, and then we're going to round through that sacrum. You're going to round and then you can hold here or you can release. A little more challenging pose right here. If you're going to release, you're going to think about really, really hollowing through the core, right? Relaxing your toes or lifting your toes and you're going to hang right here. Challenging pose in and of itself. And then now sink a little deeper into the pose. You should really feel that waking up that low back, which is what we always like to do. Now, if you have to touch down, you'll touch down. But keep relaxing and going a little deeper. Really, really feel those thighs burning, right? Really, really feel those thighs burning. You can do this. Let's do a 10 count. Ready? 10, 9. Relax your arms. 8, 7, 6. Stay with this. Sink a little deeper. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're going to touch down all the way down to the ground. And then start to straighten a little bit into your legs. And let's go palms to your elbows. You know we like to hang here? Palms to your elbows, and if it feels good to straighten into your legs, but it's also maybe good to just bend your legs and relax over, relax the crown, relax everything down. You should really feel that here. Feel those thighs burning, working, relaxing, good. Release, we're gonna roll up on a 10 count, ready? We're gonna go nice and slow, kind of reverse that, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, knees back, four, three, two, one, straighten into those legs, and then roll it out. Excellent. Workout number 21. Keep it going. 
and we'll see you next time.